Your picture. Your picture. Hey, this was me on New Year's Eve visiting my furry friends on the Arctic Circle, celebrating in one of the most majestic places I've ever been. Deep in the frozen forests in the land of 1000 lakes. I decided helping out and experiencing day and night as a dog musher. The temperatures were ice cold, even for Finland, and dropped below minus 35 degrees Celsius. This was so different from my usual life. I don't really know how I ended up here in this random restaurant in the middle of nowhere. Everything started with this extreme 300 km polar expedition through the Arctic, with this wonderful team, and I had the adventure of my life. Roy was the guide of our team back then, going through the finish line with us and after some serious planning I visited and helped him and tasted his way of living as he is building up his brand Horizon Husky. south we had lunch in minus 25 degrees celsius and the full moon was shining. I was amazed by the beauty of the landscape, the endless forests, frozen lakes, the soft and pastel light, the fresh air, the blue tones and snow crystals as we were traveling into the night. From our journey, we brought these two to bring them to their new family in Pyotunturi. They suffered from motion sickness even more than me, but when we got out of the car, we all felt so much better again. And after that, the first morning guiding husky tours came. We were located in the area of Rovaniemi, where the famous Santa Claus village is. The closest place is called Oikarainen. Because of the immense cold, the dogs needed booties as a protection for the paws. And I tried my best putting on the gear in the right way, to make it as comfortable and safe as possible. Even after my polar expedition, I'm still so impressed how the dog team is working together. And with dog sledding, you can almost go anywhere in winter and have your friends with you.
I do make it one. Yeah, this is the roses, so. <laughs> Hello! Right now I'm waiting in front of the vet in Rovaniemi because the car needs to run because it's minus 29 degrees as you can see. After the vet visit, Prama could sleep in the house until she was recovered fully. Being with the dogs, I was just always in the moment and the time went by so quickly. The night ended and the day started with dogs. Another highlight definitely was visiting these little 10 week old sharks. <laughs> they are becoming strong dogs. Celebrating the start of 2024 here was definitely the right decision because I didn't want to be anywhere else. Around midnight I got a call from a friend that was in a really bad place. I know life can be hard sometimes, but it can also be wonderful. And cuddling a dog, for example, helps a lot. Of course, it was not always easy and I did a lot of mistakes. And the fact that I'm vegetarian and also like dogs is a dilemma. Nina. Come Nina. The evening ended searching for a spray bottle for wounds that we were missing.
January brought the light back. I think something really sad happened Bro, I wanted to dig out this trailer <laughs> He bought that yesterday On the Arctic Circle, it marks the southernmost latitude where the sun can stay continuously below or above the horizon for 24 hours, called midnight sun or polar night. There is something about the horizon, the line where the earth and sky are touching. It makes me want to explore and see what life can mean. Lina is the youngest dog in the pack and she's so energetic and kind. Looking forward to visit my second home Scandinavia as soon as possible, but right now I'm this climate protection manager in Germany. I mean, did you know that Finland's trees cover up about 75% of the country? And its peatlands make up around 30% of the land area. I want to thank you so much for watching this video and reaching out to me. And I want you to believe in yourself and seek and strike your horizon.